Ukraine announces new strikes on Russia after Tatarstan hits. Radius will expand. Ukraine continues to attack military targets on Russia's territory following strikes on Tatarstan and their radius of action will increase, says Andriy Yusov, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine. Strikes on oil refineries and a factory in Tatarstan are good results and we are all pleased with them. I believe that similar joys will come in the future and their radius will expand, said Yusov. On April the 2nd, explosions rocked several facilities in Tatarstan. Russian media said that drones attacked the region for the first time, reporting casualties. Later, an RBC Ukraine source within the special services revealed that the defense intelligence organized an operation that targeted the factory assembling Shahed Kamikaze drones in Yelabuga of Tatarstan. The same source mentioned that the defense intelligence, along with the security service of Ukraine, also attacked an oil refinery located in Niznikamsk of Tatarstan. These objects are over a thousand kilometers away from the Ukrainian border. Strikes on Russian oil refineries allegedly carried out by Ukrainian drones could have disrupted more than 15% of their capacity. A NATO spokesperson gave this assessment to journalists according to Reuters. In terms of damage, the strikes have probably disrupted more than 10% of Russia's refinery capacity, maybe more than 15%, the official told media representatives on condition of anonymity. He said that, depending on the extent of the damage, repairs could take considerable time. Fewer and fewer of these types of Russian energy critical infrastructure are safe from potential strikes, the NATO official said. He also expressed the idea that more and more impact on the Russian economy can be expected as a result of this. It should be noted that according to Reuters, about 14% of Russia's refinery capacities were shut down due to drone attacks. Western countries helping Ukraine attack deep inside Russia Western countries are helping Ukraine to fly kamikaze drones deep inside Russian territory, CNN reported, citing a source close to Kiev's drone program. An unnamed Ukrainian official who spoke to CNN described how Kiev uses UAVs with longer ranges and more advanced capabilities to strike targets located more than 1,000 kilometers from the border. The flights are determined in advance with our allies and the aircraft follow the flight plan to enable us to strike targets with meters of precision, the source said. The admission of receiving guidance from abroad follows multiple reports that Western personnel are providing Ukrainian troops with intelligence and information about specific targets. The Washington Post cited a senior Ukrainian official last year as saying that Kiev's soldiers almost never use advanced weapons, including US-made HIMARS rocket launchers, without receiving coordinates from the Pentagon. Recently, Ukrainian drones targeted Russia's Tatarstan, a region 650 kilometers east of Moscow, which had not previously been attacked by UAVs. One drone was aiming to hit an oil refinery in Niznekamsk, a city located roughly 1,100 kilometers from the border. Mayor Ramil Mullin said that the aircraft was disabled by air defences and caused no damage. Another drone struck a student dormitory inside the industrial zone in Elabuga, injuring 13 people. The hub hosts several companies that make high-tech equipment, including drones, according to Russian media. Moscow has repeatedly warned that the delivery of weapons and other military aid to Kiev makes Western countries de facto direct participants in the conflict. The Russian Defense Ministry and local authorities have said that Kiev uses Western-supplied arms to indiscriminately fire at civilians. Over past weeks, Ukraine has carried out increasingly regular attacks on Russian oil refineries and other industrial facilities with long-range drones. The Washington Post reported in August 2023, citing leaked documents that Russia was setting up a production line in Tatarstan aiming to build 6,000 attack drones by the summer of 2025. The manufacturing plans entailed an expansion in the scale of production of a Russian version of Iranian Shahed drones, which would improve on Iran's dated manufacturing techniques. The documents revealed that the production facilities were at the Alabuga Special Economic Zone in Yelabuga, the same location of the alleged drone strike on April the 2nd. Ukraine enters new stage of strikes on Russia's deep rear, ISW. 
The latest drone attack on an oil refinery in the Republic of Tatarstan signals a breakthrough in Ukraine's strategy of striking deep inside Russian territory, according to findings from the Institute for the Study of War. The report says that on April the 2nd, Ukrainian drones targeted facilities at the Taneko oil refinery in the city of Yelabuga, Republic of Tatarstan. The ISW highlighted that this facility is located over 1,200 kilometers from the Ukrainian border with Russia. According to Reuters, such regular drone strikes by Ukraine on Russian oil refineries have led to the shutdown of about 14% of all Russian refining capacity. The April the 2nd strikes are the first Ukrainian strikes on Tatarstan and the distance of the targets from Ukraine's borders represents a significant inflection in Ukraine's demonstrated capability to conduct long-range strikes far into the Russian rear. ISW continues to assess that such Ukrainian strikes are a necessary component of Ukraine's campaign to use asymmetric means to degrade industries that supply and support the Russian military, the report says. Recall, on April the 2nd, Ukrainian drones attacked enterprises in the Republic of Tatarstan, Russia, for the first time. Drones hit the Taneko oil refinery in the Alabuga Special Economic Zone near the city of Yelabuga, which is over 1,000 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. According to RBC Ukraine's sources in the special services, it was an operation by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense. In addition to the refinery, drones also hit the Shahed assembly plant. Russian claim that electronic warfare means downed the drone, it fell and caused a fire. Meanwhile, they do not acknowledge that the strikes caused any significant damage to drone production plants or refineries.